welcome to back to my channel. It's me, Makeup by Charlie or Charlotte. Yeah, and welcome. Um, you may recognise this eye look. If you've not seen this already, I've already posted this video. I'll just link it up there. So yeah, um, I thought I'd try and film this video as well whilst I was doing this eye look because um, this is a new base product from Beauty Bay. So I got the Beauty Bay Oil Control, Pri oil, oil control Priming Mist and I got the Mattifying Setting Mist. So these are new to Beauty Bay. Um, obviously with me having oily skin I thought give it a go. I do like to put on my Urban Decay All Nighter before... Um, my makeup so it helps the oils stop coming through um, this is a Robert Welsh uh, technique that I got from, well I got from him and it works really well especially when I want to have a day where I don't really want to touch my makeup on or you know I'm really busy and I just don't have a chance um, yeah so this is £10 if this can save me some money then why not so yeah if you're interested in watching please do keep on watching <laughs> please stay yeah so I've already um, moisturized so I've just used my usual revolution hydration boost for um <sighs> can't talk <sighs> hydration boost cream I've nearly finished this I have got a, I've got the watermelon one as well but I'm not gonna crack into that until I finish this one because uh, it's very rare I pan products and I really should so let's have a look at this so this is the oil control priming mist um, a shine controlling mist to prep and prime the skin for flawless makeup application helping to reduce the appearance of pores and fine lines this is like this is a lightweight mist that creates a smooth canvas while keeping makeup looking fresher for longer shake well before use okay so I'm gonna use this as a primer today let's see how it does I'm just gonna We'll see how aggressive the spray is. It's not the finest mist I've ever had, but let's have a feel. It oh, it smells like though. Smells nice. It smells very fresh. Um, like I say, it's not the finest mist I've ever used in my life. It is a bit. Um, but it, it is quite similar to the Urban Decay All Nighter one actually. Um, yeah, let me just let me dry this. Hopefully, that's not ruined my uh, eye makeup. Look, I think that's dried. Fine lines. Um, mm. You can still see my fine lines, but I haven't really got many anyway. I don't expect it to do perform miracles, but it has. It has reduced the my, the way my pores look, but they're still there. I won't say it's like um, the Elf Paula's Putty Primer or anything like that, but I, I would say it has smoothed them out slightly, but. It's not a miracle, but it's not bad for a spray, if you know what I mean. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna just do the rest of my base. I'll do it on camera. I'll show you what I'm doing, but I'll do it through light speed.
So I've done 
on my base. I just need to put my lashes on, but I will put my setting spray on first. So I'm going to try the Mattifying Setting Mist by Beauty Bay. So this claims a setting mist to keep your makeup from melting, fading and settling into fine lines for all day wear. The light mist mattifies the skin to reduce shine, leaving a finish that no filter can rival. Shake that all before use again. Okay. Let me, I bet this is all the same sort of spray as the other one. Yeah. Smells the same as well, I think. Okay. It left a quite a big drip on my face but so the the spray is a little bit aggressive just be careful with it the mister but yeah it has mattified my skin I'd say um, I normally prefer glowy but with my oily skin probably shouldn't but so <laughs> I've not been very vocal in this have I so my plan is to wear this throughout the day. It is now three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, so I'm gonna wait for a few hours. My oils normally start coming through within three hours anyway. Um, I'm probably gonna take my contact lenses out and wear my glasses. So underneath my glasses will be a good indication if it keeps it on. I'll be perfectly honest, it's I don't I haven't found a setting spray yet that helps me keep my makeup on underneath my glasses. It always bunches up, it always removes it. Um, if this can do that, then fantastic. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys in a few hours. Um, and yeah, see you in a bit. Hi guys, just checking in. Um, this is just gonna be the last part of the video because I'm tired. Um, it's quarter past nine at night. I'm just looking at the time. Um, yeah. Excuse what my um, eye makeup looks like. I've had really watery eyes. This eye in particular is so itchy. So, yeah, and I've had my tea. I've um, been drinking. I've been touching my face all day. And I have to say, my face feels really nice. Um, this guy's showing. But I expect that anyway. I've got dry patches on my nose. But they've been itching. And this guy's poked through as well. But I think that was more to do with me touching my face throughout the day. Let me just take my glasses off. Um, I don't know if you can see. This isn't the best quality because it's on my phone. But it has come away from underneath my glasses a little bit. But it's not the worst I've ever seen. It's not bunched up that much. It's thingy. Um, yeah, I mean, I've had a quick look in the mirror before as well. A bit of my oils are peeking through on my cheeks, but not much. And got very little transfer. But yeah, it seems alright. Six hours is isn't a massive amount of time. Um, I'd normally, if I'm gonna be at work, I'd wait from six o'clock till I get home, which is about half past five, so near enough 12 hours. But it seems to be holding up all right so far. So, yeah, quite impressed, I have to say. Um, and that's it, really. Um, I'll keep trying it and keep continuing to add it into my daily routine and seeing how I, um, react to it on um on what you know once i've tried it a few more times and now i know so i know sorry i'm tired so i'm just blabbering on but yeah uh thank you very much um 
Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I feel awkward uh, filming this in the living room with Paul over there, but you know, look at the state of this. <laughs> Um, but yeah, thank you very much for joining me and yeah, if you could please like, comment and subscribe, that would mean the world to me um, and it helps me much more than you already know. Um, so I know I keep I, I keep asking and mentioning but it, please do consider it if you do enjoy watching my content. Uh, yeah, and thank you very much and I will see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>